All right, uh, I would like to go over another um, initial value problem example, uh, since this one requires integration by parts. All right, so uh, let's do this. Uh, so you have a different equation here. So as usual, we're going to take the antiderivative. So it's going to be y is equal to uh, antiderivative of uh, x times e to the negative x with respect to x. All right. So since it is a multiplication, uh, we're going to use uh, integration by parts. All right. We're going to let. Um, so here's uh, we're going to let uh, u be x and uh, dv to be the rest of it. So you have a uh, e to the negative x dx. All right. So here. Uh, this is our u, and this is our dv, All right? So uh, uh, we take the derivative of u as usual, so we're going to get, uh, let's see, uh, du over dx is equal to 1. Then since we're interested in du, so we multiply by dx to get that du is actually equal to dx. All right. So we're going to need uh, this guy, so u. And also we're going to need uh, du. All right. Then uh, this one, I'm going to uh, divide through by uh, dx so that we have dv over dx which is equal to e to the negative x then we can simply take the integral with respect to x so we can find the v so v is equal to antiderivative of e to the negative x is uh, e to the negative x divided by negative 1 so it's going to be negative e to the negative x. All right. So we're going to need um, v as well. All right. So those are the three things uh, we need to uh, uh, carry out the integration by parts. All right. So uh, let's follow the integration by parts. All right. So we're going to get uh, here uh, uv. So u is x. And v is negative e to the negative x. So it's going to be negative e to the negative x. By minus integral of v, which is uh, negative e to the negative x. So I'm going to so negative, negative, so double negative. So I'm going to turn it into plus e to the negative x. And the du is exactly the same as uh, dx uh, in this case. All right. Then we can go ahead and evaluate the second integral here. So we have a negative x e to the negative x. Antiderivative e to the negative x is a negative e to the negative x. You have a plus some constant c. All right, so that's the best we can do just from the different equation. All right, so let's use the um, initial value condition. All right, so we plug in. Uh, y uh, x equals 0. All right. So if you put 0 there, so first term is 0. If you put 0 there, you're going to have a negative e to the 0, which is 1, and plus c. All right. This is supposed to be equal to 4 according to the initial value condition. All right. So we can find c by simply adding 1 to both sides. So c is equal to 5. Right? So therefore, we have a complete solution. Uh, y is equal to by a negative x e to the negative x minus e to the negative x. And we found c to be positive 5, so plus 5. Right? So this is the solution of the uh, initial value problem. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.